Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Astelia Online video. If you, by the way, if you just didn't know, Astelia is an upcoming MMORPG for us in the West and not upcoming like Lost Ark, like somewhere in 20 years from now, upcoming actually this year. With that said, in this video, guys, I'm going to take you through the classes in the game. I'm going to uh, show them show them to you what they can do in the screens that they have made for them. And uh, we're just going to take a basic look over the classes. So um, the game starts with five classes which in 2019 is a little bit scary to tell you the truth most mmorpgs that are upcoming or that have came out in in the in recent years have have come out with a bit more classes right most of them had at least a, a necromancer slash warlock slash demonologist kind of profession astelia doesn't right it just a basic very safe set of five classes that you would expect to have as a bare minimum in any MMORPG. They have the warrior, they have the archer, the assassin, the scholar and the mage. Now Astelia is a healer tank DPS kind of system game so the warrior is your tank and the scholar is your healer. When you select your preferred class then you have here a graph showing you what the class is good at. Um, it's <laughs> very simply called HP. So a warrior has a lot of HP. Um, it's very simple to understand. Uh, mana, it doesn't have very much of it. Then again, I don't understand. Is this just the, the red bar that it has a lot of red and very few of blue? Or uh, what is it? It just cannot cast spells or in any case, uh, a pretty descriptive thing. In terms of support, um, warrior is also pretty high. So that means it can support the group as well. In terms of evade or evasion, uh, not very much. So it's more of a kind of a tank and spank class in that sense, judging by this particular graph. Not so much attack either um, and uh, a lot of defense. So the tank of the game. Other things that you have here, you have the um, control difficulty, how hard it is to you know, play this class, control this class, similar to what Lost Ark has, similar to what Terra uh, um, started with at the beginning. Um, so a, 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 pr a pretty nice thing, right? So this here, you have some advanced class info. Um, you can become a Crusader, a protector with superb defensive capabilities. The Crusader can soak up an enormous amount of damage. Uh, this comes from the basic warrior. Next one, you can become a Berserker, an aggressive infighter that charges with reckless abandon. What? They spearhead any battle with their overwhelming offensive capabilities. They are very offense oriented. And finally, you have the Gladiator. The Gladiator is well known for their tenacity. They fight until the last breath. They have excellent accuracy and good control of status effects. There you go. So uh, the classes do, let's say, branch out or maybe not branch out, but they do split into uh, three different um, games, game style possibilities that you can choose from later on in the game. And finally, right here uh, in the bottom right corner, uh, mostly covered by my cam. Really sorry, guys, I just didn't have any place to put my cam in. It would just take out something that's maybe more important uh, to the video. It's just a, a, a brief video with uh, the classes skill. This was the warrior guys. Let's move onwards to um, archer. It has a lot more attack than or warrior obviously. Um, a lot less HP, a lot more evade. Control difficulty has two stars, same as the warrior I believe. Yeah, it has two stars as well. Um, from archer you can go to bounty hunter which is um, known for their passion. So very passionate uh, players, these bounty hunters these days in MMORPGs, with good evasion and accuracy. They never flinch in pursuit of their prey, right? You can select Hawkeye, um, Hawkeye like in uh, Lost Ark. The Hawkeye has a very keen awareness in battle. Once spotted, nobody can hide from their sharp eyes. And finally we have the Ranger. So from the archer, you can become the ranger as well. The ranger is known for their endless vigor. They are a formidable opponent with high accuracy and evasion. This one also has good evasion and accuracy. Cool. So uh, these things um, are out of the archer. Um, then we have the assassin, which has a more 
I mean, they evade a section than the archer, a lot of attack and more than the ranger as well. And not so much defense as the ranger in that sense. Um, from the assassin, assassin control difficulty, five stars they gave to the assassins. I really love when MMORPGs make assassin classes very hard to play really love that uh like uh, like high stake high reward kind of thing super super cool i hope it's pretty hard to play i haven't tried it myself uh, from the assassin you can go to nightblade you can go to phantom um the elusive phantom this sounds like something that has a lot of hide uh, the Phantom humiliates their enemies <laughs> with incredible evasion and will survive most situations. Wow, okay. And then you have the Avenger. Scary. The Avenger lives and dies for a single purpose. They boast good accuracy and high attack, which makes them a deadly opponent. Yeah, so I believe this Avenger might be, uh, you know, like the high stake, high reward kind of thing. Super cool stuff, right? Um, the fact that you have some selections um, later on. From the Scholar, guys, the Scholar is the healer in the game. From Scholar, you have um, a lot here in mana. Not so much in HP, though. I mean, pretty surprising that they don't have even as much as a Archer has. It's pretty bizarre. Maybe because they can heal themselves and that might make them OP. God knows. Control difficulty, three stars. So one star more than uh, than a warrior and an archer. Um, a lot of support, obviously, because they're the healers. From Scholar, you can go to Cleric, an elegant and devoted servant of God. You can go to Shaman. Interesting. I'm already... When I see Shaman, I'm already intrigued. Um, practitioners of mysterious spells passed through the generations and finally you can go to oracle i am very intrigued right now a holy prophet the oracle specializes in healing and defense with high spell power and physical defense sounds pretty cool to me honestly and finally we have the mage class um, uh, boys a mage class that is pretty well rounded as well i mean quite some nice hp just a teensy bit of support Quite some evade, quite some defense, not the highest attack though. Quite bizarre to see a mage not having like a lot in terms of attack because I'm personally used from other MMORPGs. Um, you see a mage, it's uh, uh, two, three casts and you're dead, right? But uh, I'm guessing that these specializations that come from uh, the mage uh, uh, profession uh, specialize more into a lot of damage, one of them and the other one more survivability, fewer damage. And this is just a... Just a general thing for you to make a, a, a basic overview. Yeah? So let's take a look at these uh, specializations. Um, Wizard, the ultimate damage dealer. There you go. We found our winner. We have Sorcerer, a seeker of mana. So they consume a lot of mana. So they're looking for it. Uh, and the Witch, a master of curses. Hmm. This is interesting. This uh, sounds to me just a little bit like a spirit master. Maybe like a... Like a like a demonologist, like a warlock kind of thing. So I was saying that the game doesn't have a warlock or a special demonic kind of presence a profession, but um, maybe you can play your mage as a little bit of one. And these were all the classes in Astelia Online, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making them, looking through them, uh, looking at the specializations. Um, it was a, a pretty pleasant surprise that you can play your classes in, in a little bit of a different way with these, uh, uh, choosing these three specializations. Very interesting. I'm looking forward to um, trying all of these classes, actually, so I can see, so I can feel how they feel. I'm not going to have a lot of time to to play all of them in this current second open beta um, however since I bought the game since I bought the founders package I guess I'm gonna have access to the release also uh, so I might try more um, at that time I wish you guys lots of love as always thank you so much for watching and um, I'm gonna see you soon in my next video